Hello, dear students, and welcome to today's episode on the Terabyte Elective ICT Practicals video series. My name is Sebru, and in today's episode, we will be solving a question from the student candidate WASI exam 2017 question number one. As I always do, I have split my screen into two with our question on the left-hand side and our solution on the right-hand side. For this particular HTML code, as we have done before, we will be using the Notepad text editor. So at this point, I will go ahead to read out the question. Question one, with the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML code to produce the image below. This is the image. B, set the title of the page to your full name and index number. The program codes must be properly indented. C, save the file as, a, as form.html in the folder created. Now, I have always advised that you are supposed to create a folder where you will store all your solutions. Now, this is mine. There's a folder that has my name, Sir Brew, and my index number 10112323. You should always have a folder like this where you store all your solutions in it. This is the folder that you eventually burn onto your CD for submission. Now back to our question. So our question says, with the help of an appropriate text editor, create the HTML codes to produce the image below. In creating this image below, set your title of, of the page to your full name and index number. So let's go ahead and let's create our basic HTML title by first declaring to our browser that this document that we are preparing is an HTML document. So that's what doc type HTML means. We are declaring to our browser that we are creating an HTML document. Now, in an HTML, HTML basic structure, there are a number of things that you're always going to have. We are going to have the head, which is represented using the head. Then we are going to close our head tag. We are also going to have the body. And then we're going to close our body tag. Now, then we are eventually going to close our HTML tag, which we opened at the beginning. Awesome. Now in our head tag is where our title goes. Now the B part of the question has said that our title should be what? Our full name and index number. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as it is right now so that we can take a look at what appears in the title. So we've been asked to save the file as form.html. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Form.html. Changing this to all files and then go ahead and save. So form.ht. Okay. Now, if you look at our solution here, the name or the title of the document is what? Form.html. However, our question has asked that we change this to, we change this to our full name and index number. So we will come into our head tag and we are going to call up the title tag. And then our full name, Sebru, in this case for me. And then I'm going to close this title tag. And that settles it for the B part of this question, which requires that we set our title to our name and index number. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and then we are going to see if what we have done has taken effect. Now, as you can see here, we now have Sebru 10112323. Okay, so we are now going to go ahead and create our main requirements for this question. 
So we have been asked to create a form. The form will be contained in the body of our HTML structure. As always, once we have created a form tag, we'll go ahead and close it. Okay. Now we are going to create our form by ordering it with a table. So we are going to use the table tag, which will also go ahead and close. Now in every table, we have rows and then we have the table body, right? We have rows, we have the table heading, we have the table body, right? The rows are basically um, the horizontal layers where the information goes into. And then inside the rows, you can either have a table heading, which shows usually in a bolded form, or the table body, which is the actual content that you want to put in your table. So our question requires us to create a table heading, which is going to be customer name. So our heading is first going to be in a row of its own. So TR, that's the tag for row. We're going ahead to close it. And inside that row, we are going to have a heading. Go ahead and close it. Very important to close your tags anytime that you open them. Now, this heading is going to be customer name. We can go ahead and save this and then take a look at the solution in our web browser. So currently we have what? Customer name. Go back to our question. After our customer name, next thing we have is first name and a text box. That would go into the second rule. So you're going to create another rule using the tag TR that we're going to have to close it before we enter the data required for that tag. So we've created a new table row, TR. In this particular table row, we are going to enter data. And to enter that data, we are going to use the tag TD, table body. Going ahead to close it. Now, as you can realize, there are two kinds of data that needs to go into this table body. First name is one of the data. And then second, the text box is under form of data that has to go into this particular row. So we are going to have to create two kinds of table body or table data. The first one is this. And then we're going to have a second one. All right, both are all in row number two. Row number one is where we have our customer name. And then in row number two, we have first name and a text box. So we'll go ahead and enter the information. That's first name. It would be in the first column of row two. And then in the second column, we want to receive a particular kind of input. Right, so input, the type we are looking for is text. That's the kind of input that we want to receive from our user, it's text. And the name of that input, which the user should give us, you're going to leave as blank, right? Because we want the user to enter that information for us. We can go ahead and then display this and see what we get. So let's save this as size. Let's come to our browser and let's run it. As you can see, we have our first name and then we have our text box as required in the question. Now, some questions may ask you to use a placeholder to represent the data before the data is shown. Now, this question they didn't ask us to do it, but in case we're asked to do that, we would have added another property placeholder equal to 
enter your first name and then we'll go ahead and save it and as you can see enter your first name is showing the to give the user an idea of what needs to go into this text box but our question doesn't require that so i'm going to take that out of our solution this is just for your knowledge right so save this next we have the last name and the text box we're going to go ahead now it's basically the same syntax for that too so i can just copy what i've done for the first name copy it last name is going to be in row number three so i'm going to create its own row for it i'm going to go ahead and close this row and then this row is also going to have two table data or table body cd first one which is going to have last name then we close it then the text box we're going to create it by asking our form to accept an input of the type this is also going to be text because we're dealing with a name and the name is what the user would give to us we'll go ahead and close this table data or table body and then we've already closed our row so basically what we have here is a, doc, a declaration of the type of document doc type html the head and in the head we have our title and our title is said brew 10112323 which is showing here because we saved it then outside the head comes the body however the head the body and everything else is contained in the html structure right so we are we are simply going to indent it a bit so that we show where everybody is contained the table is in the form the table rows are in the table We have under table row here. Table body. And then the close of the table row. Then our table itself is closed. And then our form and our body and then HTML. Right, so we're going to save this and we'll go ahead and run it to see what we get in our browser. Okay, so now we have what customer name, first name, a text box that we can write in, and our last name and a text box that we can write in just as required by the question. At this point, you are done solving your question and you qualify for the full 15 marks. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. Catch you on the next episode. Cheers, guys.